be me. B12 at the time. Meet girls, same age at local ice rink as I go skating every Friday and some Saturdays. We end up talking and make out all night. Fast forward to a week later, she tells me she wants to break up. Broke my little 12 year old heart, but oh well. Talk to my friend about it. He says she's dating some guy with a car. WTF? We're both 12, so I assume he's 16. Later that night, he comes to pick her up. Dude has a full beard and tattoos. Looks like he's in his late 20s, maybe early 30s. He gets out, they kiss, and he opens the door for her. They drive off into the night together. The following week, her friend S tells me that they're having sex too. At 12 years old, I had to watch a grown man steal my 12-year-old girlfriend, and he plowed her. Mom found the furry porn folder. She found the zoo file forums. She won't let me near the dog anymore. I miss him. Penis size, big. Why would I pick anything else for my character? I choose the little one for my female characters. A night to forget, but never will forget. Be me, 17 year old virgin. Spring break was coming up. My group of boys are planning to party over the break and get some girls. I want to sex so bad, so I accept. One of my friends is an absolute unit of a chad. 6'2 or 6'3, muscular, blonde hair, blue eyes, face carved by angels, and packing an 8 incher with girth. Don't ask me how I know. Party comes along at a friend of a friend's house, and there's a lot of people, a lot of girls. Me and some friends showed up, Chad friend is there too. One part of the night, we were all hanging out in a hot tub with four hot bitches. It was 4am and most people left and friend's friend let us spend the night thanks to how close they were. One girl left with another friend, which left me, my other friend, and Chad with three hot girls. Thinking I'll get some with at least one of them. Time comes to go pass out and all three girls follow Chad to his room. Even the one that I thought I was having a good time with, and thought I was gonna bang. Me and other friend had to sleep in the adjacent room. Oh my god. Me and other friend had to sleep in the adjacent room to Chad, so heard all of them banging and fucking. Had to share a bed with other sexless friend. He started touching me and asking if I wanna fuck. Long story short, we sucked each other off for maybe 10 minutes before we stopped. Didn't even come. Chad friend was still having a foursome in the other room. Took every ounce of strength not to break down crying right then and there. <laughs> Be me, 16. Sleepover at my best friend's house. Playing new Hot Wheels game on GameCube at 2am. Fun. Eventually says, next person to lose has to flash their dick. What? Go along with it. We end up flashing each other when we lose. Don't think too much of it. He shuts off the game. Hey Anon, let's play truth or dare. Fuck it, why not? Doing stupid dares. Eventually he dares me to put a condom on in front of him. Uh, fuck it, I'm not a pussy. I complete the dare. I'm super tired at this point and sleepy. I was gonna dare us to touch tips. Me? What the fuck? Fuck no. Yeah, you're right, it's too weird. Eventually we are both in bed. One more dare and we can go to bed. Fuck it, sure, I just wanna sleep. You touch my balls and I'll touch yours. Fucking weird, but as long as I sleep, it's whatever. Do the dare. I'm trying to sleep. He asked me if I still have the condom on. He offers to take mine off for me. Uh, okay, I guess. He takes off my condom and throws it away. While I'm trying to sleep, lights are off. He's clearly masturbating next to me, but too frozen, tired, and awkward to mention it. He was asking how much he'd have to pay me if I sucked his dick. Jokingly say something like, oh shit, I mean 20 bucks is 20 bucks. He said he'd suck mine for free. Asked me to pull it out for him to suck. I ignore him and try to sleep. What felt like an hour later, I hear him masturbating next to me. Randomly whispering in my ear, Anon, pull your dick out. <laughs> this is so cringe. Ignore it and just hope the night goes by. He thinks I'm asleep. Randomly, I feel his hands trying to pull my pants down and getting into my pants. Super fucking uncomfy, but too frozen to do or say anything and hoping he stops. Grabs my dick and starts to just feel it for a bit before going to bed. Next morning, I quickly pack my shit and leave with an awkward goodbye. Was I sexually assaulted? Go to doctor for a scheduled appointment. She casually asked me what I do with my friends in my free time. Tell her I have no friends. Think nothing of it. A few months later, go to another doctor for an unrelated issue. Take a peek at the doctor's computer. He has my file open. It says that I have no friends. Why did she write that down? What's the point of this? Be me. Decide to talk to cutie cousin at family gathering. She's bubbly and so nice to me. We talk about Taylor Swift, BTS, and dramas. Be talking a lot with her and take this older brother-like role in her life. Be one day. She knocks on my door crying. Be worried and ready to beat someone up. She tells me she was on a hair salon nearby and didn't like how they cut her hair. Found the situation really cute, innocent, and somewhat childlike. Be hugging her and start having different feelings about her. Start kissing her neck. She slaps me and asks what the fuck is wrong with me and leaves. That was two hours ago and I haven't heard anything from anyone, which is making me really anxious. Give it to me straight, Anons. Is it over? Seven-year-old cousin is coming over to stay with me for a few days. 
Excited to be with them because I am good with kids. Remember that I was obsessed with medieval history at age 7. Excited to see what his biggest interest is. Excited to be an uncle figure to him. He comes over. He's fucking retarded and can barely count to 10. He doesn't even know how to read. Man. Married to childhood friend for 6 happy years. Wife wants to read her old diary from about 3rd grade with me. Sounds kinda dumb, but if she's happy then fine. Mostly stupid kid stuff with random words like hate and big writing. Eventually we get to the part where she meets me. According to the diary, she only wanted to be friends because her logic was that nerds become rich and she wanted to marry me to get rich. Remember how she was always trying to get me to learn and get into college pretty much entire childhood. This led me to actually get a good job as a software engineer. I led a good life because my wife was a sociopathic gold digging 8 year old. 31 year old sister got back in touch with her college stalker on Facebook and now wants to meet him. Why? Be me. Girlfriend has dad issues. Girlfriend has mentioned before I physically resemble her father. Girlfriend called me dad when she was sleepy. Girlfriend admitted that I am like a father figure to her. Is this good news, guys? Be me. Currently dating a girl. Took her virginity. We've been together for six months now. She's attractive, loving, and very nice. Suspected BPD. I knew about her daddy issues. Tells me she would have wanted to rope if I never met her. What do you mean? I was planning to hook up with this 40-year-old man, but I would have regretted it. But then I met you. I asked her why she would do that, if she's so against age gap. Tells me she doesn't know why. I'm truly disgusted with this girl. Her behavior itself isn't bad, but just the red flags around her are terrible. She treats me well, and whenever she has said or done something upsetting to me, she will apologize and promise to do better. She doesn't do it again. Not sure what to do here, really. She is a loving girl. I treat her well. I'd say her biggest red flag action would be when she was snooping through my phone because a female friend of mine was messaging me and she had a crush on me. My girlfriend has no friends. Not even male friends. What do I do, bros? Why don't you try not being a piece of shit and trying to love this girl? 14 year old me in middle school. Have long emo bitch hair that covers my face. Also rarely shower so it looks longer and greasier. Mom forces me to shower for a family event. Makes my hair poofier and appear shorter. Next day show up to school and gym teacher asks what happened to your hair. Did you cut it? I simply replied, took a shower. Gym teacher laughs hysterically. Be me. College student. Finished grueling chemistry class and just want the sweet comfort of some chicken nugs. Wait in line in the food hall for nugs. Fat bitch in front of me lets two of her other fat bitch friends cut in front of her, cutting me as well. Unexplainable rage lights up inside me. Notice they all have name tags on their bag for some stupid reason. Find them all on IG. Create an alt account and message them about an extremely lucrative internship that I made up. By that night, they had all responded asking for details. Message them back that there is no internship and that they are fat and ugly and nobody will ever love them. One girl sends back fuck you, and the other two viewed but haven't said anything. Satisfaction. Be high schooler. Parents tell me to read books. School board bans and removes half of all books. Every book before 2009 is banned. Even the very hungry caterpillar is banned. Bans 1984 for dumbass reasons even though every student in the province is supposed to read it. Book removals get so bad even the province is telling them to stop. Should Canada be renamed to the Canadian Reich or the Democratic Communist Republic of Canada? I fucked up at family dinner with my in-laws. In my late 20s, wife on concoction of anxiety meds, SSRI meds, super low sex drive. Her parents and siblings there. We're the only ones without kids. So, uh, when are you having kids, Anon? I super out and say, haha, we actually have to have sex if that's happening anytime soon. No one says anything. Father-in-law face palms. Wife starts crying. How do I fix this? Take the blame for it, you doofus. I've been having issues with limp dick. Just fuck her as hard as you fucked up there. Problem solved. Trans Max after being a forever alone incel. Passed well enough that I'm never called out as or harassed over being trans in public. Acquire BF who lets me live neat mode. BF wants sex constantly to the point I practically can't game when he's home because either he wants to cuddle on the couch or have sex. Makes me go to bed when he does so I can't get in late night gaming. On his days off it's even worse. I want to tell him no but I'm scared he'll make me get a job. Coworker says she likes pain because we were talking about tattoos. Like in a weird way? She looks at me and then looks away before laughing a bit and saying, Maybe I can show you if you'd like, Anon. She's on break right now. Was that a sign? Should I go for it? She's going to push you down some stairs because you give her the ick. Yes, go for it. Are you crazy, bro? She wants to be choked out while you dick her down. Yeah, right. Meet this girl at a rave. Ask her if she has a BF. She says yes. Mommy raised me right, so I just say, haha, nice to meet you anyways. Her friends ask me to join them, I say sure. Like two hours in. Her friends say they gotta go, gives me their numbers and tells me to take care of her and leaves us. 
She starts grinding on me and I just back off because she told me she has a boyfriend. She tries to kiss me, but I just push her away. She grabs this random guy near us and starts making out. What the fuck, JPEG? Find out later from her friends that she lied to me about having a boyfriend. I actually don't understand what I should have done. Be me. Lesbian femen on. But also buy sometimes. On Tinder. Match with Chad. Looks like Greek god with long blonde hair and fit body. We talk. He wants to meet. Says he has a girlfriend who doesn't understand him. Go to my place. He says he can't have sex unless he films it. That's his kick. I say okay, but promise to delete it afterwards. He agrees. Deletes it in front of me before he leaves. A week later, I found the whole thing uploaded on Reddit. 